Hey guys, pretty excited today. We're headed up to uh, Trenton to go pick up my first car that I won on a Copart auction. It's gonna be uh, pretty cool. We'll let you see what it is here. No hints. So this is the uh, the car we picked up uh, about a week ago. Um, really looking forward to uh, having a chance to work on this uh, with my boys. Uh, I've been told that this is not a car for somebody my age, and I really don't care. This is uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I've really had a good time working with my son on the uh, the 240, and uh, and that's my younger son, my older son. We've been working on his GTI. I've uh, been able to put some good videos out there, so. Looking forward to the opportunity to uh, work on this one a little bit and, and get some videos. This is my first co-part buy. Um, thank you for the inspiration, Chris, from uh, BS for Build. But uh, yeah, I picked this up a couple weeks ago, put it in here, and just kind of starting to order some parts. Nice thing about a 17 is it's pretty easy to find parts for uh, on, on the Subaru websites.
deer jumped out in front of them. We are in New Jersey, so, so that's pretty believable. Uh, uh, deer are everywhere here. They're suicidal, but uh, he says jumped out in front of him and he swerved to miss it and went off a embankment, glanced a tree. Lucky for us, it did not get into the frame. It clearly just uh, took out the quarter panel and the battery, which shot battery acid all over the engine compartment and uh, did a little bit of eating up of some components. There's some, you know, rust and corrosion in there where the uh, where the acid ate through the protective coatings on things. But uh, for the most part, uh, it, you know, it's still a 2017. Everything's uh, very operational. Did not get into the radiator. So here it is. We've uh, already started doing a little bit of uh, ordering of parts and teardown. First look at some of the damage to the rear. I guess the best thing to do is just to look back in there and show you that. So that's like the rear wishbone, if you will. You can see that the, this little tab right here of this piece is bent in and rubbing it. And that's probably my loud creaking noise. And then, of course, that thing's kind of a little bit sandwiched. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. I think that's all normal bends in it. And then if I look at that little silver piece there that drops down from the sway bar, looks fairly straight. Now let's go around to the other side here. Now this side, which appeared to be towed out a bit for obvious reasons here in a minute. So up here, that's how I think that's supposed to look, right? But you get back here. And you can see where that's been bent in upon itself right here. So it's a little bit tacoed and folded up. So therefore, that's caused the back end to be pushed in and to be towed out a little bit. So Other than that, the front part there appears good. That bar appears good. Hopefully the axles are all good. We'll know that once we start running it. Let's see. Front bar on this one also looks good. Both that one and the bar. Up front here. Side looks good. The uh, power steering. Right here looks good. Here's my sway bar. The little link on there looks looks pretty straight. The aluminum lower wishbone looks good. The axle looks pretty good. There's the new piece for the left side. Because here we got a little more damage. This has been heated and been straightened somewhat. Hopefully the axle's good. But here's the part that, uh, that clearly was broken and welded and then broken again and as I towed it or got it on the dolly one way or another. So I think other than that, we're looking pretty good under here. Here's the frame. And it looks to be fairly straight. I don't see any issues with that, so that's good. Damage you pretty much destroyed the battery set here, mangled the battery box, destroyed the the fuse box. So I have gotten a new off of eBay another fuse box portion. There's another piece there I'll have to do some work with because it's part of the, the front wiring harness, but this is just a short wiring harness, I think, to the alternator and then over to the fuses. So um I'll fabricate a new battery box, get all this old metal out of here and clear some space while I do that. That's the plan anyway. Over here, you can't really see, but the frame yeah, it looks the same. So, yeah, it comes in nice and straight, as does that one. So, frame looks really good. Some person uh, took out what I now know to be the sound tube. So in here, there's another little rubber hose here that I can feel. 
that I'm going to put this connector back into, which I found on the frame rail sitting down there. So I'll plug this back into it, and then that will allow me to put a cap on it. And on this end, this has been flipped around, this tube here, because there's an inlet right here that uh, should be poking out right here. And from there would be the, the sound tube that comes up and over this, goes down here to a, some kind of a chamber that fastens in those two bolts, holes there that they've kindly replaced the bolts to, but took the component, and then it has a tube that goes into there. That's the sound tube. This is gonna be about, for that, the air box and everything was gonna be about 250 bucks off eBay um, versus a $15 delete, which is a cap and a plug. So that's the route we'll go. The other thing, thing somebody was very kind to take away from me was the math here. So uh, again, about 180 bucks. Found one on eBay for about 35. It's on its way. Um, so a couple clamps and things that they've taken away. We'll have that up and, and running. And the oil tube, filler tube here, which was snapped off. Uh, I do have a new oil filler tube that we'll put on there. Once I get that on there, I'll go ahead and drain the oil and give it a fresh oil change there to get out any contaminants that might be in there. One more sensor right here that I've got to figure out what the heck that is. Still trying to, still trying to sort that out, but it's busted. So we'll find what that sensor is, replace that. Oil filler tube, clean up the wires, get everything replaced so I don't have to worry about any shorts happening. Fix some of the wires underneath that uh, in the process of either battery acid or what have you have come undone um, or been kinked or cut. Fix all of those, pass everything back together and get this all back to the way it should be. Then I I'll feel comfortable keeping the battery in there. Um, for more of an extended period of time. Came around, slapped the back end as well, uh, which we were not really counting on, so that's gonna be some added fun as we get ready to work on this thing, but I knew that it had the damage back here. Couldn't really figure out why. Um, shattered, spoiler, totally buckled up um, deck lid here, and then it kind of mangled the right side here a little bit. Right side's not bent up too bad, but got some good damage into the into the corner here where the, the trunk really just kind of shifted over so hard that it slammed against it. Um, of course, airbags deployed. This is one from the driver's, from the driver uh, position from the steering wheel right there. So that's going to be some work here. This has been moved over about an inch or so. So at some point, this is when I'm going to move on to the gradual work that I've been watching Chris do. Uh, I don't know when I'll be ready to do what he's done, but we'll have to give it a try at some point. You know, unibody construction, take this stuff off here, remove this whole back panel, do some bending, try to get everything back where it's supposed to be, and then put it back together. It's gonna to be a good time, be a nice long-term project, but hey man, you can't go wrong. $45,000 car for uh, just under $11,000 off Copart. Uh, pretty good deal, not too bad. Uh, I'll talk later a little bit about how the buying process went. It was a uh, uh, first time experience, uh, Chris has some good videos out there that really talk about the, uh, the process and I will say that, uh, that it, it kind of worked like that. I, I did have to go through a broker, uh, but it's right up the road in Trenton. Um, worked out really well. Went up and looked at it uh, and then a couple weeks later ended up going up and, and uh, it kept coming up for bid. They weren't getting enough money for it. I ended up uh, ultimately on the third time it hit the auction block and bidding 700 more dollars than the original guy had bid on it. And uh, I think they finally said, Uncle, and just said, take it, take it, and you cut our losses. That's uh, insurance company, salvage company, what have you. So anyway, that's the STI. Uh, I'm Biff. I'm looking forward to working on this with you and taking you guys through the whole process. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Later.